Actually jumps from Stallgate 2. They're sent on their way from the 1900 meter marker. Kitty Stettany and there's Deputy Judd. Also right there in the orange colours, the white blinkers of 32 squadrons going around them. Guitar Springs is also on the outside. Not much between those first three. Canigal settled in fifth position in the Philly work ethic, followed by Stormy Clubs. French Revolution is second to last, and MacDessie's the trailer, racing about eight or nine lengths off the leader. 32 Squadron now settles into its stride and leads it. Qatar Springs is on the outside and Deputy Judd is near the rail. And then fourth is Kitty's Destiny. Work Ethic and Canagal travel together. They're about five or six lengths off the leader. Stormy Eclipse is the grey with French Revolution the other grey near the rail. And at the back is Mac Desi, about eight or nine lengths from top to tail. 32 Squadron still leads it. Deputy Judd in the orange is second. On the outside, Qatar Springs back in fourth, Kitty's Destiny. Canagiles, the white nose band, black cap. It's only about four and a half lengths off the tempo. Further back is Work Ethic, Stormy Clubs. Then comes French Revolution, MacDesi's the trailer, about eight lengths off the leader. 32 Squadron leads it. Deputy Judd is back in second, going around that. Then Qatar Springs. Kitty's Destiny, Canagal's now getting the wake-up call. Stormy Eclipse is on the outside and Work Ethic goes in. Now Deputy Judd moves forward to tackle 32 Squadron. Kitty's Destiny, Work Ethic, Stormy Eclipse comes out for a run. Deputy Judd just the leader and Kitty's Destiny is making a big race of it. Deputy Judd and Kitty's Destiny, these are the two Stormy Eclipse on the outside. Kitty's Destiny, Deputy Judd, Stormy Eclipse on the outside. Kitty's Destiny though goes on and Kitty's Destiny has won a Deputy Judd second. French Revolution third, Stormy Eclipse fourth. Number seven, Kitty's Destiny. Number seven pays seven ten the win, two round the place. The Argonaut, Musieni, Duncan Isles. They win it by a length. Second to Deputy Judd, number one, the toad favourite. Third to French Revolution. On the far side, number six, then Stormy Eclipse, followed by Work Ethic. I saw Canada, I'll just pull up here late. Obviously something amiss. Further back in the run is MacDesi. And... I saw that being walked back here. Let's just see. Canagal's at the back of the field with the black cap. Deputy Judd, Kitty's Destiny's the horse with the blinkers. Stormy Eclipse is on the right, but Kitty's Destiny comes into the lead. Deputy Judd is in the orange on the outside work ethic, and there Canagal's at the back of the field, something amiss. But victory is for Kitty's Destiny, number seven at 7.10 and two rounder players. Until the fourth race, back to the studio. Bred by the Balmoral Stud, Kitty's Destiny has notched up another victory, absolutely thrives on the poly track, and this was a super performance from him. It was. Uh, to be honest with you, I thought I'd be in the first three today. There were some decent horses in this race. I didn't think we'd quite have a chance of winning, but uh, you know he's a very, very honest horse. His last run, I thought the way tailed him back. He ran a courageous race that day. He's a lovely horse to train. He's very easy at home, and he's consistent. Well, that's the main thing, and each and every check he adds to the winner's total. That's right. Lovely horse to own. I just said to Basil, I wish all my horses were like this. Make life a pleasure. But uh, well done to Basil and to Ronnie. They uh, deserve a decent horse. They're very enthusiastic. Well done to the breeders, and thanks to our sponsors winning form. Balance of your runners, anything that stands out? A horse like Baltic Amber? Look, I, I've always believed Baltic Amber should go that sort of trip. He's been also, it's been difficult to settle in the races. I thought his last run on the poly track was very good. He came from a long way back. Just ran out of steam the last little bit, but I thought he needed the run that day. He has luck in running. I expect him to be in the first three. Well done. Thanks. Muzi Yeni is going to make his way back to the winner's box here. Basil's also having a chat on the side there. Muzi, if you want to join us back in the winner's box there, he knows Kitty's destiny very well. He's notched up his third victory. And looking at the field, it looked quite competitive. Yes, definitely. Uh, last time when I rode... When I went to last time, I thought he would win. He would go very close to winning and didn't quite shape. And 
he kind of like needs a hot gallop and I think maybe he was in the open, maybe he didn't have horses to follow. He is a little bit temperamental, but uh, we got it all to today. Pace was on, I was in the box seat and the minutes I straightened up, I got behind him quite quickly and they won a good day. Another winner on the board for Kitty's Destiny and offers for you, well done. Yes, uh, nice to have the owners here. They're always in Joburg and uh, I had to make it count and uh, it's nice that they were rewarded. Well done, Muzi. Thank you, and uh, to winning form, a big thank you. Apologize for the caps, but uh, they're a great sponsor, and uh, we human. Can't always be perfect, but uh, well done to them. Well done. Let's get Basil through. Basil and Ronnie Naidu. Basil, if you're going to come and have a chat here. Now, when I saw you in the ring, I said, we've got to give you a mention. You've come down, and you're hoping for a big performance. Yeah, you know, uh, Sheldon, whenever I come to Durban, I come out to win, and my horses win. You having a good trot? Uh, yes. Uh, I'm happy I came to be in the number one box. I thank Duncan and his team. I thank my family at home. And I hope the Panthers made some money. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Well done to the entire team. Number seven, Kitty's Destiny. He's thrown down the gauntlet. He's come through seven, one, six, and two. Those are the winning numbers.